Title, The Silent Strength of Canadal Unity, Entrepreneurship, and the Battle for Free Speech. Clyde, is it just a free speech issue? Is it just a YouTube issue? The public won't understand what it is if you refer to it that way. Perhaps we all need to graph the number of small businesses in Canada. It wouldn't happen to be rapidly declining on a year-by-year -year basis for millennials and Gen Z, would it? In terms of both the quantity of businesses and in terms of the revenue of the businesses. Water farmers. Water energy workers. Water firearm owners and hunters. Water miners. Water web publishers. Water educators. These are the entrepreneurs, the leaders of the private society, meaning they are the independent leaders or representatives of citizens, not necessarily those beholden or employed by governments or corporations. They are the family head that deals with problems, negotiates deals, and fights to solve challenges. Perhaps it can be confusing in such times whether the person loses their speech or their business. Or perhaps with this online harms legislation or censorship legislation, they are actually losing both. We all kind of knew that this day would come, that the moment the society transitions to a dark leadership style would be the moment the entrepreneurs and voices are defeated and silenced. The shutting down of knowledge, community, and connectedness. The key is that unity provides strength, not diversity, in any country. But this rule holds true on the internet as well. Unity is our strength, not diversity. So the key to talking about and pushing diversity is actually a psychological projection, because for the citizens, a house divided is a house without any strength. And as we see, citizens and men are losing their strength, unable to function as powerful agents in the world, to master the world, unable to defend the citizens of the world, and to raise them to the next level. The truth in Canada now hides in the mirror or the law of opposites. The best place to hide truth is within a 100% lie, not a 50% lie. A 100% opposite comment is almost indistinguishable from truth because a minor lie is detected, but a complete lie is not. Unity is our strength. So the internet is our strength and the ability to talk freely on it to each other is our strength. The quote, diversity is our strength, is a law of opposites rule. Like so many things in Canada, the truth is the opposite of reality, or the reverse. Through diversity, Canadians are segmented and separated, therefore are not working together on a common national mission to solve all problems, build all systems, engineer the future, and develop into a super powerhouse of a country. Channels like yours, Clyde. Provide unity and a common voice and common representation for the people. So it provides people a way to talk to the elites on an equal basis through you. Something they refuse at all costs to do. For example, they only talk to the legacy media establishment, but not to freedom truckers or to activist voices of millennial and Gen Z voices on YouTube like you. Professionals throughout Canada have often whispered to the millennials to try to tip them off what is buried in the legislation in the mid to late 2010s. That is why they try to not acknowledge the YouTube voices like yours, because if they call you establishment media, it means they are giving voices to citizens' concerns at the national and official level, and that is their biggest fear. That is why the liberals avoided looking at YouTube for two decades. Imagine that. Two decades. There is no harder task for a Canadian to accomplish, in Canada, at any institution, than to have a Liberal member look at an independent free market YouTube show from a citizen entrepreneur of Canada. That is some serious determination the Liberals have to avoid a global platform of such importance to human progress. And why? Simply to avoid listening to fellow citizens and break beyond the personal dinner table bubble to reach the national level bubble to encompass all issues in Canada. Based on this model of attempting to hide from citizens, we predict the next platform that liberals will avoid looking at for the next two decades will be X, Twitter, as it now has free speech, meaning unity and connectedness between citizens of Canada. So because Twitter X platform can make Canada a powerful country in the 21st century, with powerful citizens that are all engaged together and freely talking together and growing as an economy and as an authoritative citizen class with advanced 21st century tech ideas and leadership governance ideas 
Liberals will attempt to avoid X platform in the future at all costs, or they will attempt some sort of legal maneuver to change its essence for Canadians, so that it becomes as silent as Instagram, where the most value a Canadian will communicate to another Canadian is a heart icon or a happy face. The maximum communication length of the 21st century in Canada to be safe from legal system will be one keyboard character an emoticon. Channels like yours break the concept of an emergence of 21st century neo-feudalism and enable individuals in Canada to have momentary upward mobility, to experience their voice through you, being spoken at high levels in Canada, across Canada, in terms of a media that is somewhat rational and somewhat common sense. Channels like yours prevent the onset of neo-feudalism for Canada, and on top of this, it prevents the development of communism through your very existence and daily tenacious work drive. We can all sense this communism wave arriving in Canada via the strategic and compartmentalized release of bad news legislation, one dose at a time, because it is reminiscent of the films and books we have read growing up. In prior countries, we lived and did terrible things to people who spoke sentences. Such terrible things. Some people stop speaking sentences their entire life. Till age dead, it is both a real memory and a kind of collective unconscious memory that people have, as it has happened before where the voices and the earning power of entrepreneurs have faded when such governments arrive on the scene. And the moment of transition is this type of legislation. Might be this one. It is sad to see we have arrived at this historical point, a point which we have all been clearly warned about. And men all across Canada are unconsciously feeling the danger, and they seem lost sometimes and not sure in which direction to walk to gain support and guardianship from this government. But they are not aware that it is in their divison, that they can sense a force conquering them, and they can sense their lack of support from community, which is not something that they figured they would need in the past. They are not yet alert as to which force it is and how to undo the damage to citizen unity that has been done for eight years but are starting gradually to figure out to look at good and friendly voices around them, because the voice that comes at them from the liberals is a dangerous voice. This is why many men say they are happy to hear a friendly voice nowadays. But with shows like Clyde and Sargent, perhaps we can reunite Canadians to feel harmonious once again and strong once again against this overreach. The warning we were all told is that the bad times start when the voices of the entrepreneurs are silenced. This is probably because the government is no longer kept busy by the voices of the entrepreneurs and has a free hand to act according to the rules of the dark times. Perhaps there will even be trials to further cement the new regime, like was common in China before their rise to superpower status. For speech, the lesson we were all taught early on in life was to not let the voice of the entrepreneur be silenced when the moment of censorship and speech legislation hits. This is the last legislation in the series that completes the picture of new operating rules for Canada. So not Canada. Those rules would be gone. Since no one knows any more about the national symbols, it is likely that the legislation is the last thing that is Canadian. And as we see that is being changed to non-Canadian principles. Yes, legislation changes all the time, but it changes from prime minister to prime minister. 22 or 23 times, but based on the same principles, not foreign principles. Yes, Canada did make that big mistake recently to change the top national symbols, beaver, maple leaf, Canadian flag, RCMP, hockey, Canada goose, Inuk Sook, anthem, poppy, Victoria cross, legion, CF-18 hornet, memorial cross, unknown soldier, snipers, peacekeepers, rangers, RCN. RMC to the new color global symbol flag. In terms of what is taking up all the priority of symbols in Canada and conversational space and cultural space for two decades now, the reason the national symbols seem changed to us is it seems to be not part of the conversational space anymore, and the ongoing drama with liberals and their global plans are the only thing that are part of Canadian intellectual national space, therefore potentially harming Canadian identity. In addition, we'd like to propose there is also another symbol of Canada, not often seen perhaps as a symbol, maybe is not thought of as a symbol of Canada. The symbol of the entrepreneur, which was a type of life in Canada that was not experienced by liberals, 
so it is more the symbol of the past of Canada and of the immigrants of Canada. In Canada, it feels like it was the entrepreneur that fought for establishing all of the immigrants in Canada and powered the wealth of Canada to be free as long as it was, until the 2015 or 2017 era. We hope that one day it becomes one more national symbols based on the achievement of the Canadian entrepreneurs. Maybe we will one day have a Canadian Prime Minister again, with Canadian legislation and Canadian principles once again, in the rise of the entrepreneur from the ashes. So congratulations, Clyde, on being a pillar of capitalism and entrepreneurship and of national unity symbol, which is the secret stealth symbol of significance to many immigrant families in Canada, in the Canada we grew up in for three decades, which we recognize, which made it the best country on earth. We wish you great success to defeat the people who try to defeat you and Sergeant.